Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 on essentially every single iOS device that runs 5.1.1. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Of course, you're going to need to update your device to 5.1.1. You can do that by any method. Obviously, I'm doing over the air right here. So there will be a download link in the description below. Download Absinthe, plug in your device, and begin the jailbreak as usual. Now when you begin the jailbreak, this does look a lot like the first Absinthe. As you'll see, it does look like it's syncing, but just let the jailbreak run. As you can see right here, it is doing some initial stuff. Your device, you can still technically uh, swipe between the home screen pages, but don't touch it. Just let it work, and it'll eventually actually show the screen right here, which makes it look like it is restoring um, from an iTunes backup. Just let it be. It is part of the normal jailbreaking process for Absinthe. So we're going to let this run through, and eventually your iPad will reboot. Of course, this is an iPad 3 or the new iPad, which is the best part about the jailbreak because the new iPad is now able to be jailbroken. So we're going to let this boot up right here. As you can see, we're back to the Mac, and you can see that it is on the screen to wait for the reboot. And we're going to let this speed up a little bit, and then the iPad right here is booting back up. And once it's booted back up, you will have Cydia installed on your device. You're not quite there, you still have to prepare the file system or whatever Cydia wants to call it, but once you've gotten this far, you're essentially there and done with the jailbreak. But be careful right here at this step. Even though your iOS device is turned back on, you do need to be careful because you cannot start using your device until the program is done. Please take note of that right there. But once it says done and enjoy, you're good to go. We're gonna go over to our iPad right here and we're gonna launch up Cydia, and there it is on a new iPad, Cydia 1.1.6, I believe, is the file version, but we do need to prepare the file system. Once that's done, your device respring's, and you can launch this up. As I said, this does work with every iOS device that runs 5.1.1, so you can do this on the iPhone 4S. Oh, by the way, there is just some proof. Um, the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPad 2, essentially everything except for the new iPad 2. It's like a special iPad 2, but basically you can jailbreak everything. So guys, that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter as iAppOSX. Add me on Game Center as AppOSX. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.